What is up guys and welcome back to the channel. I wanted to dedicate a video solely to giving you guys tons of updates for a bunch of different cars. I know you guys are always asking about the Evo or the Barbie 350Z or my RX7s. So I wanted to give you guys all the updates in this video and tell you about a new collection that I am trying to start. Jumping right into the updates, here is the Barbie 350Z. And yes, I have missed her. Honestly, the reason why this car has been down is just because it's needed some maintenance things. And with the Corvette actually being the car I'm competing in, this just kept being pushed and pushed and pushed as a priority. Even when we shot the compound reveal video, I drifted this car with a bad pilot bearing. And when we actually opened her up, we found out that the throw out bearing was also bad. So it was constantly making noise. And after we shot that video, I knew I did not want to drive the car anymore until both of those were replaced. So our good friend Steve ended up coming by the shop about a week ago to give her some attention, give her some love. We had to replace the pilot bearing and the throwout bearing both were completely just disintegrated like it was really really bad we got new bearings installed bolt checked the whole thing and a fresh oil change now she just needs an alignment in the front and she will be good to go so i felt bad because like i said it was just never a priority but now the car is drift ready and i definitely will be taking her out around the compound for some laps and probably just some more osw track days i mean the last time i drove this car I was really only just starting to learn how to chase. So it'll be really fun for me, having been driving mostly the Corvette lately, to get back in this thing and see if I can throw down some chase slaps. That is the update with the Barbie Z. She is not going anywhere, I promise. I absolutely love this car. It's so reliable and it will just drive and drive and drive on track days. Next, let's talk about the Evo. I miss this car so much. I really, really do. I was dailying this thing for a while. It is probably one of my favorite cars that I own. It's been down mostly because it needs a new clutch and at the same time, I was going to replace the transmission as well. Since I've gotten this car, my third gear has always been out. So it's such a buzzkill when you're trying to like do a pull or just bang through gears. And I was gonna swap in a different transmission that Adam has into this car. But when I'm doing that, I wanted to also replace the clutch because the clutch was going out and it just kept getting worse and worse and worse and it's like really, really bad. I've actually had a new clutch from Action Clutch for a very long time now. I'm just missing a bunch of the components for the system that need to be replaced as well. So until I have all the parts that I need for this car, I've just had her down. I just didn't want to risk damaging the car or doing anything bad to it. So she's been sitting here like a very beautiful decoration in the shop for a while. But fingers crossed within the next two weeks, I should have everything that I need to start working on this car. Attempt my first ever clutch and transmission swap on an Evo, which should be fun. This car isn't going anywhere. This is my baby. I love her very, very much. Hopefully we can work on her very, very soon. All right, now for the Corvette. took this car on a track day with Drift HQ last week.
Look at this. Both of them. Both of them in the front row like this. So between new tie rods for the car and 22K springs in the front, this girl just felt alive. The car feels so much better now. Was amazing trying out my new 22K front springs. Holy crap. Such a massive freaking difference, you guys. I can't even explain it. The car is so much more responsive now. I was still running, you know, about 50 PSI in the front and dropped the rears down to about 11. But look how bad this is. Between this tie rod, my wheel bearings that were bad, and having such a soft spring in the front, like, I, I really can't believe that I drove this car in competition. So there's been a lot of changes, all positive to this car. There's still some things that we do need to work through in the front. I'm having multiple things continue to get loose. I'm hearing binding as well when I'm driving. So we're gonna go through the entire car with Drift HQ coming up very, very soon. And I just can't wait to get more and more seat time, get more and more confident heading into the next Clutch Shakers competition. And yes, I am still rocking my cherry blossom Amazon livery on the car for now. Now, I do have RX7 updates for you guys. So if you guys have been on the channel for a while, you know that I have my dear, dear RX7s in California still in my California shop. I also have my Brat Bunny RX-8 in California. My Vert 350Z is also in California. It's been logistically more complex than just transporting cars because I also have my entire shop that is in California. I am going to California next week to get my three rotor RX-7 car. It is the wildest car that I own. It is probably the wildest car I might ever build Ever. And it's just been in California for the past year now. It is at the point where I need to dyno it and I can finally start testing it at the track after building it for maybe three years to get it to the point where it is currently at. So I cannot wait any longer. I am hopping on a plane with Chris next week to go to California, which means we'll be hitting the track with that car so freaking soon, guys. In case you forgot about it, let me let me refresh your memory. <laughs> exciting part of this video. I've been wanting to tell you guys this for a while, but I've decided that I need to have the dopest heart wheel collection of all time. slowly been sinking into my mind ever since I got my first ever heart wheels from Heritage Wheels, the original wheels that were on the Barbie Z. These are my three piece Kokoro heart wheels by Heritage, custom made for the Barbie 350Z. These are the first wheels I ever put on that car. I went to Heritage and saw these wheels assembled and when I was there, they had some other Japanese heart wheels on their wall for inspiration. And slowly over the past year, I've just been seeing random heart wheels pop up. I'm learning more about them and I am just becoming obsessed. So. I have already started this collection and I'm excited to show you guys the start of my collection in this video, but I want to give a big shout out to Heritage Wheels for getting this obsession started. And just for context, I don't currently have them on the car because I didn't want to damage my nice, pretty three-piece wheel, continuing to be so aggressive with them and drifting. I wanted to save them for another build where they maybe wouldn't get as beat up. Also, I was one of the first people to have the heart wheels on my car by Heritage, and they became so popular that Heritage Wheels now makes a monoblock version that is a lot cheaper. So if you guys go check them out, now they're making them in awesome colors too they have like two different shades of pink they have a gloss black i believe as well and a silver and they're monoblock so i'm actually trying to get those for the barbie car now that that would be a perfect monoblock wheel to have on this car this is what started it all you guys since then i've actually sourced two more heart wheels to add to my collection and that's what i'm going to be unboxing today officially this is the very start 
of my Heart Wheel collection. Okay, so the first wheels that I'm going to be unboxing I got from Three Piece USA and they're by Pia. They're freaking adorable. I just showed you them, but I'm gonna be unboxing the other three wheels. The manufacturer is Pia and this is their Jewel Heart Wheel. I saw this on Three Pieces site and fell in love immediately. I knew I had to have them. They're so cute. It says peace, thanks, smile, and love. I've been having this as a decoration and I wanted to unbox the other three on video because I haven't seen the condition of the other three. I just opened this one because I got impatient. And I originally got these wheels for a K car that I have in Japan. I'm hoping I'll have updates on that car for you guys at some point over the next many months. I bought a K car that is still currently sitting in Japan on my birthday, which was December of last year. I have not been able to get a container for it. Prices for containers right now are through the roof to import the car. So it's literally just been sitting at the docks in Japan, but it's my very first K-Car. I got these wheels specifically for that build that will be on the channel hopefully sometime this year. But for now, I'm gonna finish unboxing the wheels and show you. Here they are, fresh from Three Piece USA, fresh from Japan. Like I said, when I first saw these on their site, I messaged them immediately. I knew they had to be mine. One day, these will be on my future K car if it ever makes it to the USA. I opened this one first and I've had that around the shop and I'm just now taking a look at these. I'll probably have to repair, polish, or paint for all of them. I would say this one seems to be in the worst condition. I don't know if you can see right there, there's some big dents there. So these will definitely need to be repaired. It looks like the chrome is chipping right there, but nothing too crazy. These just have some rub marks on them right here. I think I'll probably plan to do a full restoration on all four of these. I seriously love them so much. I would be interested in trying to find another set of these. Since I'm going to fully restore these and I have a car in mind that I want them to be on, these won't actually be on display anywhere. Like if I get a heart collection on a wall or whatever for the future. So if any of you guys end up seeing this same wheel for sale, please hit me up in the DMs and send them my way. I'm excited to finally be able to tell you guys about these and show them. And hopefully we'll be able to get into some restoration plans for these wheels very soon. We're actually looking at getting a really big baking booth to have a whole powder coating area here at the compound. So that would be awesome. There are actually quite a few wheels from Pia that I really, really love. And there is another heart wheel that they made that I am really trying to source right now. So this is another version of their heart wheels. If any of you guys see the Jewel Heart Sherry Pia wheels on the market, online somewhere for sale, please hit me up. Pia makes a bunch of really cute K-Tar wheels that are just unique and a bunch of fun different shapes. So even if it's not a heart wheel, if you think it's cute and unique and interesting, send it my way. Here you have it. This is officially my second set of wheels that I'm adding to my new collection. All right, so that brings us to the second set that I will be unboxing today. And that is the wheels by Andrea Kovage. I am so pumped on these wheels and more now that I've done more research into the designer himself and the background on the entire like Andrea Kovage line. This is still an active fashion label and fashion line to this day. So I'm gonna unbox 
all of my Andre Couverge wheels and get more into the background of them and why I'm so stoked to own some of these and why I definitely want to find some more. I actually think they are brand new. They don't look used at all. Okay, now I'm glad that I waited to unbox these on camera because I had no idea I'd be getting original, basically unopened center caps, the valves as well that originally came with it, and the OG packaging. Now I'm even more hyped on these wheels. So satisfying. So not gonna lie, I kind of thought I got punched when tracking showed up as my wheels being delivered and I saw this tiny package in the mailroom. I was like, there's no way there's four wheels in this tiny package. Like each wheel is slightly larger than my hand. I These wheels are by designer Andre Couverge. It's a French name, so it was like Couverge. I'm probably not even saying it completely right. My name is French, Colette is a French name. I don't speak any French. So, André Couverge is my best way of pronouncing this. He was known as a worldwide, like, amazing fashion designer. They still have this fashion label to this day, which is so wild. I can buy things with the same logo on it today. He unfortunately passed away in 2016, but his company and his label is still going on. This was a collaboration with a wheel manufacturer that he partnered up with to go into the automotive market with because he had a passion and interest in cars. And not only did he customize and make a bunch of different types of really cool retro poppy color wheels, he also made and sold like pink decal kits for cars, for scooters. So freaking cool. And I wish I could have met this dude back then. Like he was doing stuff most people weren't. And he also made a few concept cars that were very futuristic for its time. I believe these were part of a design collection that was launched in like 1984. And it came out with a collection of a bunch of different really, really cool wheels that I would love to own one day. He was known for doing this and kind of pioneering this style. I also read that Andrea Couverge is like the person responsible for go-go boots and mini skirts from back in the day. like. That is so freaking cool. And I didn't know any of those things about the designer before I bought these wheels. But the more that I learned about Andre Couverge and the designer himself, and me seeing the other wheels and products that he designed, I would love, love to own more of these, even if they're not his heart specific designs. This is definitely going to stay a highlight in my collection. I don't even think I could get myself to put these on a car, honestly with how good of condition they're in. It's interesting because even though the designer was French and his fashion label is based in France, most of the advertisements that I saw for these wheels were all in Japanese. So I don't know if he just, for cars specifically, if he took a liking to more Japanese style cars, or maybe he was more of a market of JDM than anything else, but it looked like he targeted for sure the Japanese market with a lot of his designs and definitely K cars. And from what I read too, like this was marketed towards the women that are already buying products from his fashion label. He wanted them to have a purse or outfits on by him and then also have matching accessories for their cars. 
Yeah, there are so many things about these wheels that might make them my favorite in the collection so far. I love their history in actual fashion. I love that Andrea, the designer, was a pioneer like way back when of futuristic car designs, of fashion forward car accessories from the wheels that he designed that were unlike anything other for the time. And even the decal sticker kits for women to have style on their vehicles as well. I love the Andrea Couvert probably created a bunch of car chicks back in the day. The more I learned about these wheels, the more special they became to me and the more stoked I was about them. Uh, super, super stoked to have these in the collection and hopefully I can find more. So here it is. Here is the start of what I hope will grow into a much bigger heart wheel collection. And learning more about the Andre Couverge line, this might turn into just a heart slash unique, cute, cool wheel collection if I start venturing out and getting some more from his line, or if you guys send me any other old funky wheels or new ones that you might come across. But this is a start to what I'm hoping will grow into a really awesome and unique collection.